Do you all remember that video I made a few days ago where Palpatine and Anakin almost got into that fight in the club? I'll link it down below and at the end of this video if you haven't seen it, so this one picks up right from where we left off. So go watch that one if you haven't, just so you won't be totally confused. As Anakin returns with Palpatine to his office, he tells him how exciting that was, that now Calandrus will be seized. As Palpatine tells him that it's harder than he thinks, and that Calandrus is only one snake among many in the Senate, and how he can't just order the Jedi to arrest a senator, as it would be a serious matter. Now, of course, this alludes to and makes us all think about how Mace Windu tried to arrest Palpatine in Episode 3, and how it didn't go too well. As Palpatine tells Anakin never to mention this to the Jedi Masters at the temple, he switches the subject to ask the boy something that, if gone the way he hopes, could change the galaxy and all of Star Wars as we know it. Anakin, it's not my place, but can I ask if you are happy in the temple? As Anakin tells him that becoming a Jedi is all he's ever wanted, Palpatine's face drops as he's left speechless. I see. I want you to know that there is always a place for you with me. Once your training is complete, of course, I could make extraordinary use of a young man like yourself. This manipulation from the club scene to now has struck a massive dent in Anakin's thoughts and path. He feels now that the Jedi are controlling him, and his life shouldn't be decided upon at such a young age. Going to meet Obi-Wan in the temple, he tells him he wants to step away from his training. Do you know how I joined the Order? I've never forgotten. My mother asked Qui-Gon if he would take me away, if I would become a Jedi. He said yes, and that was all. My entire life decided right then. I was nine years old. Qui-Gon said Jedi training was difficult, that it would be a hard life. I saw a magic man with a sword made out of light and a starship. I was a slave on a world made of dust. What was I going to say? No? As he hands his lightsaber back to Obi-Wan, telling him that his training isn't complete, but he knows he has more to learn that the Jedi can't teach him. How he feels the galaxy calling to him, and he needs to answer it. As Obi-Wan hesitantly takes Anakin's custom-made lightsaber from him, he immediately goes to Master Yoda to speak to him about what has just happened. To leave the order, does Anakin wish? As Obi-Wan tells the Grand Master that he has failed at the Padawan, Yoda assures him that all of Anakin's questions are natural. Ordering Kenobi to aid young Skywalker and see what has changed his mind, where his path lies, to return when his decision has been made, that the Jedi are not jailers to control anyone's destiny. Kenobi tells him that he will train Anakin and fulfill his promise to Qui-Gon's dying wish. For if the dark side finds him, then the galaxy will surely be doomed. As Yoda tells him he agrees, however, the Council will not allow Obi-Wan to train the boy if he has chosen to leave the Order. Master Kenobi tells him that he understands, that if Anakin is to leave the Order, then he must as well. The road lies before you, Anakin Skywalker. Will you walk it alone? No, Master. As a Jedi. If you'll show me the way. So here we have our first canon moment in the comics, when Anakin was swayed from his path as a Jedi by Palpatine, feeling the pull to his destiny, which I can only assume is Palpatine's doing and manipulations. Now, let's imagine, just for a second, that Anakin actually did leave and joined Palpatine at this young age, becoming closer to the dark side day by day. Sidious would literally have a Sith apprentice from such a young age. Age. He would have made Anakin literally the most insanely powerful being in the galaxy, teaching him everything that his master taught him and all the Sith lore and artifacts to go with it. This is maybe what Anakin felt was the galaxy calling to him. I don't want to make everything about Snoke, but Snoke did call to Palpatine in the Aftermath novels, so is it possible the comic book writers got a little heads up from Disney to include that bit so that we can all tie it in together later on? It's very curious indeed. Think on this, I shall. But what do you guys think? Did Palpatine manipulate Anakin to leave? Or do you think Anakin was always evil from the start and always doubted the Jedi from the beginning? Let me know down below in the comments and I'll see you all in the next episode of Star Wars Theory. Until then, my fellow Jedi and Sith friends, remember, the Force will be with you. Always. Now, Force.